during this pandemic, this has been the busiest time that we have, I have ever seen in the appliance repair business. Um, not only are stuff uh, breaking more because more people are at home, they're cooking more, they're washing more, and they're using their appliances more, but it's also a shortage of new appliances. And so right now it's the craziest I ever seen it. And today was one of those days where um, I just got overwhelmed um, from like eight o'clock this morning until maybe one o'clock this afternoon. Uh, my phone uh, uh, rung nonstop. And I always had two or three people on the line where people were trying to get stuff fixed uh, before Thanksgiving. Uh, we're in the cooking season. And it got to the point where I actually had to actually uh, call third party warranty companies and everybody and just tell them we can't do anything else to the end of the month. Uh, we're just we're just too booked out. And uh, it, it, it doesn't make sense to just keep piling stuff on. And uh, I just told everybody, uh, put us on hold until further notice uh, because we're just too too booked out. So after I called the people and uh, after I called and put our accounts on hold with third party warranty companies, uh, called property management companies and told them, uh, unfortunately, if, if the, something happened between now and Thanksgiving with one of their clients, we just wouldn't be able to get them in um, because it, it was just so busy uh, that unless it's an emergency, if it's an emergency, we'll cover emergencies. But uh, if it's not an emergency, we wouldn't be able to uh, get them in before Thanksgiving because I need to get the people uh, completed that uh, that we have started now but prior to Thanksgiving. Um, and what I've been doing for the last several months, on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I normally do one or two sales system jobs. So I went out this afternoon. I had a, a sub-zero. I had to replace the compressor in. I was uh, changing the compressor. And the way I look at it, like I've told you all in the past, I look at it as if I'm a doctor that got called in to go do a, I'm a heart surgeon. Um, and somebody have called me and say, hey, uh, you, uh, we got somebody you need to come operate on, uh, perform, perform surgery on. And I'm going out there to the, meet them at the hospital to do it. And that's the way I look at doing these seal system jobs. I only do one or two. I go out, I take my time. Um, and today... I was able to sit back and reflect. Uh, since I've been doing this the last couple of months, I've made a lot of money. <laughs> I've made enough money to uh, to restore. I, you can see right here, I got my my uh, my channel car. Uh, when we're doing a total resto mod on that, um, and I've been able to pay cash for that to get that done. You know, um, been able to pay cash for a couple of other little uh, toys I'm working working on been able to uh, get the money to, to buy uh, to buy a business from somebody. Uh, well, I, I bought the equipment from them. They, they had a, a, a kettle corn business and because of the pandemic, uh, they were actually downsizing. And so I bought the equipment from them at a, a great price. And um, I'm got more property that I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to buy getting ready to put another business in uh, one of these properties. And I was just thinking of how well appliance repair has been to me and my family. And we're at this junction now where uh, we need more appliance repair men <laughs> because uh, a day like today, I realize uh, uh, just how few of us are out here. Um, and it's just not appliance repair. It's across all the skilled trades. Everybody is feeling it. Um, but we need to get more people into the skilled trades. This is the skilled trades is is a great way to earn a living. You get to go to see somebody go to somebody's house where something is broken or uh, go see a piece of equipment that's broken. You get to fix it. And the joy to know that when you leave it's working, that you you accomplish fix, fixing it. Um, it does so much for your confidence. Uh, these young men uh, that I have come in here and I'm showing them the skill trades. Uh, you've seen them. They uh, they started off, were scared to climb up on the ladder. They renovated the, uh, my, uh, the training center. They renovated my old-fashioned ice cream, my ice cream parlor. Now I got them renovating my houses. Uh, you saw how they done. They got the vinyl siding on. It looks great. Now they're building their first deck. And for me to be able to send them out there, give them a little bit of instruction, 
uh, draw out some stuff uh, on the board and they get there and they're able to think their way through it. And you can see here where they got the, uh, they got the frame up for the deck. Uh, as soon as the concrete um, uh, hardens, they'll be able to go back out there and, uh, and finish it up. But uh, this skill trades always uh, is in, in demand. You can always make a living with it. And I, I just can't emphasize it enough. If you're somebody who's who's struggling, um, you want to uh, financially, uh, you want to start your own business. You somebody that feel like you're at a dead end job. Um, please consider the skilled trades. If not appliance repair, uh, look into electrical, HVAC, plumbing, welding, carpentry. You got to get something and um, and and come out here. And I'm telling you, it's enough to actually change the whole trajectory of uh, where you're at and your family and the next generation. Um, you, you heard the other day with Gabe, um, I done an interview with uh, Washer and Dryer Money. And you, uh, you heard, he, he's like the uh, third generation of entrepreneurs in his family. And you can now start to do that for your family. Uh, you can now become an entrepreneur. And because you're working as an entrepreneur and you're actually winning as an entrepreneur and your kids can see it, and your grandkids can see it, you can now start to uh, uh, change the whole trajectory of your family going out looking for jobs and stuff, where now they're actually looking to be like you, to be an entrepreneur and a business owner. Uh, so like I said, if you hadn't already, please consider uh, signing up for Applies Boot Camp. And if you don't get into Applies Repair, um, and if you uh, it, please get into the skilled trade. <laughs> Please, I'm telling you, uh, it, it's, a, it's a great career and the opportunities are endless.